What's up guys, this is Aaron, and uh, this is the third video on learning your first chords, okay? So I'm gonna show you a few more chords, and it's gonna kinda open up a whole new um, spectrum of playing, and, um, and as well as a few more keys of playing, just by adding a few chords. All right, so let's go ahead and add the chords first. We're gonna add A minor, D minor, and F major. All right, so first of all, A minor. You can play this chord by playing the top string open, the next string open, second finger on the second fret, fourth string, third finger on the second fret, third string, and first finger on the first fret, second string, and the last one's open. Okay, A minor, moving on to D minor. All right, you're gonna mute out the first top string, not the first string, but the top string, sorry, with either your thumb or you're just not gonna play it, okay? So by muting it out, all you do is just um, barely touch the top string with your thumb, kind of wrap your thumb around it and don't, don't press it down, just touch it, okay? All right, so the fifth string, the next string down is gonna be open. Next string, fourth string is gonna be open. All right, on the third string, I'm gonna play the second fret with my second finger. On the second string, I'm gonna play the third fret with my fourth finger, or your third finger, either way you wanna do it. And then on the first string, I'm gonna play the first fret with my first finger. Okay, and this is a D minor. Moving on to the F major. I'm gonna, again, mute out the top string. Play the next one open. On the fourth string, I'm gonna play the third fret with my third finger. The third string, I'm gonna play the second fret with my second finger. On the um, um, second and first string, I'm gonna play the first frets with my first finger. So I'm doing what I'm doing is barring, creating a small bar with uh, the first and second string, first fret, and playing both of them with my first finger, and then playing the next um, few frets. So one, one, two, and three going down. Okay, this is F major. Okay, so what we've done is we created um, a few more um, chords, two minors and another major, that we can add in on the other chord groups. Okay, so so far we have chord group G, chord group D, and chord group A. Okay, well with chord group G, we can definitely add in the A minor. Okay, so now we have five chords to practice with that key. We play G to A minor, C, D, and then the E minor, or E minor 7. You can play those in any order that you want. Okay. So the A minor can go with G. Okay, the A minor can also go with the new chord group, um, C. Okay, now the F, the A minor, and the D minor that we learn can all be played with the um, new this new chord group of C. Okay, so in the C chord group, we can play C. All right, then moving up to the next letter of the alphabet, which would be D. Let's play the D minor. Okay, and we can also add in that E minor um, seven chord with the key of. C. Okay, so we can play E minor 7, or we can just make it um, uh, E minor by taking off our third and fourth fingers and just playing um, frets uh, 2 on the fifth and fourth string. Okay, from there we're going to go to the next letter of the alphabet, which is F. Okay, we're going to play our F major chord that we just learned. Okay. From there, we're going to go to the next letter, which is G. We're going to play the G chord that we learned in the first chord group. All right, the next letter of the alphabet's A, and we can play our A minor that we just learned in this video. Okay, so now we have six chords in the chord group C. C, D minor, E minor, F, G, and A minor. All right, so there's a brand new chord group for you to mess around with, um, playing F, and we can also play a few chords in the key of F now. We can play F and C together. OK, 
Okay, so a lot of these, you're starting to see how a lot of these chords are starting to sound a lot alike. Especially in this new chord group, uh, key of C, okay? So we've learned A minor, D minor, and F, and we applied it um, the A minor to a G, and we got A minor, F, and D minor all inside of the, um, the key C, okay? So now we know four chord groups. We know G, and we can play those real fast. G, A minor, C, D, and E minor 7. We know the chord group D, which is D, A2, and G. All right, and we know the chord group A, which is A, D, and E major. Okay, and we also know the chord group um, C, which is C, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, and A minor. Okay, and just like the rest of these chord groups, you want to practice the chord group C um, by playing four strums down on each chord. And so forth. And you can change up these chords any way you want to. You can play two chords at a time, four chords at a time. You can play all six. Change up the patterns. Do whatever you want to with them. But with these first three videos, learning your first chords, you should be able to play all these chords um, pretty easy together. Okay. I wouldn't move on to too much more advanced stuff or too many other scales or um, anything like that without knowing these first few chords very well. And it's also important to practice that um, string exercise we learned in the very first. Um, video, okay, where you, you play the four frets and you move up the neck. And it's very important to play that too to learn these chords because if you, if you can utilize all four of your fingers and get all four of your fingers strong, you can pretty much handle these these chords, okay? So there you go. There you have it. There's your, uh, your first chords lessons. And um, practice these, get them down, and then move on.